What's up everyone? Time to show you the mods I've already done. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Jason's Taco Trail. I'm Jason, and uh, so I'm going to show you the mods I've already done. I've had my 2021 Toyota Tacoma Trail Edition for two months already, so I've already done some mods to it. So something to let you guys know, if it's a minor mod, I will try to see if I can find it on eBay, and I will try to see if I can get the cheapest thing I can get. So I don't always think trying to get quality everything especially when that quality is going to cost a whole bunch. I definitely had to pick and choose what I spend a good chunk of money on. So I've had uh, a few mods already lined up to install, but I've been waiting to make this video so that I can show the installation of it. So without further ado, let's get to it. So on the tailgate, I have the raised Tacoma letters in a black and white flag. Here's what I thought I was going to get though with uh, four stripes instead of uh, three stripes but I think it still looks pretty good. Check out the link in the description. I also have this vinyl tonneau cover which uh, I think it's pretty great. Uh, I like how it adds security especially because you can lock the tailgate and to full, be able to fold it back you just got to Get under there and unlatch these and just fold it back. Pretty simple. And then to completely remove it, all you have to do is reach underneath and unscrew those other latches back there. And uh, it's pretty lightweight. I had mentioned in my last video that I removed the passenger side storage box. Uh, they take up a significant amount of room. Uh, probably uh, your free space starts from here and right over here. So yeah, I mean that, that's a significant amount of room to take up. This wheel and tire combo adds that lifted look. I haven't done a lift or anything. We have the 17 inch fuel wheels in black. Also we have the 31 inch open country Toyo tires, rugged terrain. Now these are a really cheap mod that I got from Walmart. These are the deer warning whistles. Dealing with an accident because of a deer is just something I don't want to have to deal with ever. I did have a 17 millimeter ball uh, phone mount uh, stuck on with an adhesive right here in this blank spot. Um, but the, the plastic on the ball broke off the other day. But that's all right uh, because actually out here in the Sacramento area, it gets really hot during the summers and uh, adhesive tends to just fall off, especially with the bulky and heavy phones that we have out these days. I just ordered an off roam uh, vent mount. Uh, it's similar to the Honda Garage vent mount. It's uh, it'll go in right in this spot over here. So should be coming in a few days, so I will post that installation once I get it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because um, I've been looking for a more mechanical solution for a phone mount as opposed to an adhesive one. Since uh, Toyota decided to get rid of their GoPro mount, which... Uh, used to go right there somewhere over it was somewhere over here I had it on my 2018 Tacoma um, this 
decided to mount my own GoPro mount right here. The only downside to having it back here is I tend to forget that the camera is there and I'll forget to activate it. I'm like already halfway or three quarters uh, away from my destination and I'm like, oh man, I need to turn on my, my camera. I've been using it more to capture stuff on the road just in case uh, I get into an accident or something, uh, I'll be able to have proof that it wasn't my fault, if that's the case. But uh, I don't know, I might need to upgrade since now I'm looking more to, to document my adventures. The way I have it set up so I don't have cords running uh, all in the middle of my view uh, across the dash is uh, I used an adapter that uh, uses the power for the mirror and gives you uh, a USB port. I have this little uh, three inch USB cable here. Now all the cords are hidden and not too bad. If you're wondering what this is, this is just a, a decoy uh, flashing light just to deter any potential thefts that uh, hopefully they'll see it and not want to break into my truck thinking that there's an alarm system on it um, but an alarm system will be in the future I used to have a Viper two-way alarm system on my 2007 Tacoma which is a second gen I absolutely love that alarm uh, it was great for having the peace of mind that my keys will alert me if my alarm's going off but also I tend to question whether or not I locked my truck because I'll I have a horrible memory so so the keys will actually tell you whether or not your your truck was locked one of the awesome mods that I've added was uh, this organizer but I also added my own little twist to it I used an adhesive to put this toolbox uh, liner on there so stuff isn't all slipping around on the on the plastic I also put one on the shelf here I didn't put any adhesive on there because I didn't want to have any glue uh, on the actual truck itself so I just put it on the plastic of the removable organizer so that goes right in there and this is awesome because now you can compartmentalize all your stuff. So I usually keep masks in here. Um, eating supplies in there. Keep some glow sticks in there for emergencies. Normally, the manual would go in this slot right here. It's a perfect size for it, but uh, I don't know. The manual takes up too much space, so I showed in my last video that I actually keep it in the rear uh, storage compartment in the back. So I don't know it allows me to uh, choose whatever I want to to be in there, but it's a lot cleaner than how I used to have it uh, before I had the organizer. The glove box organizer actually came as a set with the center console organizer. And it's this grid system, just kind of allow, allows you to compartmentalize things in here. But because before I used to just stuff a whole bunch of everything in there, and um, yeah, and it was scary to try to go search for what you wanted. One cool thing that I do, I think, is uh, so I take the tissues out of a tissue box and I just remove the box and stuff that in there. So now comes a nice handy uh, tissue dispenser there uh, yeah and then you know I have uh, rubber gloves uh, kind of put them in there uh, at the beginning of the whole pandemic don't really use them uh, have flossers there in case uh, I need to pick stuff out of my teeth while I'm driving uh, some cleaning stuff there but yeah I mean it allows you to just have a cleaner deal going on in there and then also with the set it came with this top tray 
for your oops, put it the wrong way for your uh, quick quick access type items. Uh, so I keep my sunglasses in there, pen and um, pen and sticky notes, uh, flashlight also doubles as a taser. Um, pepper spray and, and a knife so yeah pretty cool deal there so this trash can uh, it's pretty nifty hangs right on the headrest uh, I put it in the middle back seat uh, so my my daughter can throw away her own trash and she's not leaving it all all over the her seat or sorry guys it's pretty hot outside right now so I'm trying my best to do what I can inside with the doors closed and the AC running but uh, here's a mod that I made myself uh, it's basically took 550 cord and uh, did a long Cobra cord type of thing and instead of making a bracelet I made it into a grab handle for my daughter um, but yeah comes in pretty handy um, she does sometimes grab onto it while while we're on the road and she'll just shake my chair all right so that was it uh, definitely I have more mods to come and I'll take you along with those installations so we can see how those are done some future mods that will be coming up uh, I've mentioned in my previous video that I have the driver's side grab handle coming in a few days so I'm excited to uh, show you guys how to install it and I'm definitely excited to have a uh, grab handle for my side of the vehicle like I did in my second gen Tacoma. So a mod that I've had here but haven't installed yet because I wanted to make this video is the Soki Tech No Drill Hood Struts. I don't feel very comfortable with drilling holes into my truck so these are hopefully going to be perfect because uh, I will just be using existing bolts. I've been trying to decide what hood protector I want to get for the Tacoma. Here's what I've been looking at. So the AVS AeroSkin Light Shield hood protector. I think it adds a great aggressive look to the truck. So obviously you guys know that I'm new to the whole vlogging deal, especially new to uh, doing whole automotive type of vlogging deal so let me know what you guys think I could do to make my channel more informative and and more entertaining and as always please help me out by clicking like and subscribe also let me know what mods you guys think that I should check out and hopefully maybe it'll make it onto my channel all right well until the next video keep on with that talk of life